everyone, I have a quick kind of collective video to do today. Um, it is my birthday today and I am going shopping later and out to eat and I don't have anything to do right now so it's been a while since I did a video so I wanted to come on here and just say hi and just show you guys some things that I've gotten recently. Um, I actually went to a yard sale on Saturday. It was an indoor yard sale. And it was just a lady who happens to have a heated garage uh, storage space uh, by her house. And she has yard sales there um, every so often. And so I went there on Saturday and I found something. So I'll start with that first. Just It's been a long time since I've gone to a yard sale and I am aching for it. I cannot wait until next year and the weather getting warmer so I can go back out yard sailing because being penned up in the house all the time and it being freezing cold outside like ugh, I just don't want to do anything and I'm just looking forward to summer but anyway I found this fossil purse there that she was selling and this is in like brand new condition it's just a goldish bronze color and I paid two dollars for this so I thought that was a really good deal for a fossil bag. And like I said, it was in really good condition. I'll show you guys the inside if you can see it okay. But it was just very clean and nice. And I actually found 15 cents in change inside. So that's always nice to find money in purses. So I got that. And my dad got this at a yard sale. I don't quite remember exactly when it was um, he got it and my mom just gave it to me the other day because she forgot that he had even purchased it but it's just a little bracelet it came in this cute little mesh organza bag and my dad's retired so when there's yard sales and you know my mom and I are working he'll go out yard sailing so this is what the bracelet looks like and but this is what the bracelet looks like. It is from, it says Chico's on the tag. It's brand new with the tag. It retails for $40. I don't remember how much he said he paid for it. But um, it's just a silver chain link kind of bracelet with like a rhinestone area in the center. And then just a little hang tag that says Chico's. So that's really cute, very blingy. It just says, everything's better with bling. A little sparkle just to say, thank you for being so fabulous. So I don't know if this was given to maybe employees of Chico's or if it was actually sold in the store. I don't know. But he got that at a yard sale. So I figured I'd show it to you just to get those two yard sale things out of the way. Um, next thing I'm going to show you is uh, some thing that I want off Listia. I have like 80 some thousand credits on Listia and I've just kind of been hoarding them in hopes that like I really need a trash can, a new trash can for my kitchen. So I've just kind of been hoarding them in hopes of finding, you know, trash can in like the rewards store. But I've just, I, I'm tired of hoarding my credits so I'm starting to buy stuff and there have been people hauling Revo lip balms and I've just been going nuts wanting them so bad. So I ended up spending I think like 7,000 some credits for two of these holiday themed Revo lip balms. Um, I just wanted them so bad so I didn't care that I had to pay that many credits. Um, for those of you not familiar with Listia, it's basically a website where you get rid of your things uh, for free. like you auction them off and people pay with credits and then you know you're giving your item away to someone and then you'll get credits um, in return to use to um, to bid on other auctions uh, to get other things that you want so you get rid of stuff to get something else that you would rather have kind of thing so I really wanted these Revo lip balms so I got them and uh, the girl that I won them from, she put them in this cute little bag and she gave me a free sample of Too Faced eyeshadow insurance and then the lip balms that I got were these two here and I already took the 
seals off of them. And the only thing I don't like about the Revo lip balms is that it doesn't say on the actual packaging what the uh, flavors are. So I'm not quite sure. One of them is like sugar cookie and one of them is a snowflake vanilla, vanilla snowflake, maybe mint. I'm not quite sure. But they're in these really cute uh, metallic packagings. And I absolutely love Revo lip balms. They smell so good. They're moisturizing. They are so much better than EOS lip balms in my opinion. I love these so much more than EOS. So super happy for those. And it was funny because my boyfriend and I were watching QVC the other day. And um, I love watching QVC around the holidays. But it makes me want like everything that I see. So we ended up seeing a heating pad found it at Walgreens website for cheaper than the QVC price and in a nicer color than what they were offering. So we went to Walgreens. It was my first time ever at a Walgreens and I was like in heaven. It was just like the best drugstore I've ever been in. So I finally got to see the Revo lip balms. Um, this was after I had already purchased these ones. So I ended up finding two more holiday themed Revo lip balms that my boyfriend purchased for me to put in my Christmas stocking and then I happened to find one of the Halloween flavors so I was so excited for this. This is the only one I found that was part of the Halloween collection. I wish that I had more but you know this is this is what I have and I'm excited for it and this one is the candy corn um, flavor. Oh my god! These are just so good. I cannot get over like how good these Revo lip balms are. I'm obsessed with them. So needless to say, I need more. <laughs> so I got that. And alright, next place we're going is Big Lots. I got a couple of things. Randomly, I got this Revlon lip gloss in... This is a color burst lip gloss in pink ice, which just looks like this. I paid $2 for it. I took it out of the packaging because I wanted to swatch it for you guys. So that's what I'm going to do. And this is just a little like shimmery kind of baby pink color. It doesn't have like a whole lot of color. It's more of a gloss with shimmer. I have it on my lips right now, so I don't know how well... It's showing up, but got that. And I was watching Nicole's last video of her Big Lots haul, and she found these Freeman's masks, and I had to go check and see if mine had them, and they did. So I got three different Freeman's masks, and these were all a dollar a piece, and I love these things. The I haven't used one yet. I was going to use one last night, and I didn't. Um, but these are the ones I got. I got a pulped pomegranate. This one is pressed sea kelp and then this one is a crushed arctic cloud I think it says and it says these are new or it says cloud berries crushed arctic cloud berries it says they're a new clay infused fabric so I'm assuming they're like the fabric mask but with like the clay in them or on them I'm not quite sure like I said I I wanted to try one yesterday and I didn't so if you guys want a review of one of these or something I can do one but I love the Freeman's mask, especially the cloth ones. Um, so I got those. And then I found this. And this was new to me. This is a aqua tinted BB cream. And this is by the brand Appeal. Which makes the like the cloth makeup uh, or face towelettes that you can buy at Big Lots. You know, they're like a dollar or two dollars depending on the size of the package you get. So I haven't seen these before. Um... They must have been new. I was the first person to buy them because it was they were in this like box thing, and the one I bought was the first one taken out of the box. They have them in light beige and medium beige. They only have two colors, so I got the light beige. These are two dollars and eighty cents. So basically, they're just a BB cream, um, beauty balm, moisturizes, primes, smooths, brightens, evens tone, and protects skin from the sun. It has an SPF of I want to say. 20? Um, yeah, SPF 20. So I got this to try out. I haven't used it yet, but I can let you guys know what it's like. This is the packaging that it comes in. It's just a, you know, tube of 
BB cream. I'm going to do a little swatch so you can see what it looks like. Like I said, I got the um, light beige. So that's the color as like a blob on my skin. You guys can see that. That's what the light looks like. And I'm just going to rub it in. So yeah, it definitely looks like light is going to be fine for me. I'm pretty pale, so it rubbed in rather well. It doesn't have a, like a scent really. I don't smell anything, so that's good too. So yeah, I'm excited to try this. Um, if you're interested, like I said, Big Lots, $2.80. That's not bad for a BB cream. This is a pretty large tube. It's 1.33 fluid ounces. Typically, you see tubes like this are only one ounce, so you actually get a little bit more. So I got that. And if I have time, I'm going to throw in some birthday presents that I've gotten. Um, not sure how much time I have left on this camera. I have none.